Okay, in discussion of the 120 volt system, you have two 30 amp inlets, which are what, what's called a shoreline. And each shoreline, this is shoreline A and this is shoreline B, and it generally outlines in the labeling what each of these shorelines are for. So shoreline A is set up as the battery charger and for outlets bank one and two. Now, if you want to get into what the banks are, you know, you can look at the diagrams, but basically we've separated the interior outlets as far as the load so that we don't have all of the load of the vehicle as far as the 120 volt portion of the vehicle um, all loaded up onto one shoreline. Um, so this, this shoreline has a 30 amp NEMA configuration L5-30 shoreline and we have supplied 30 amp shoreline connectors to plug in to, I should say, to wire to your extension cord so that when you plug this in, uh, you'll be able to uh, power up the things that are already outlined on the labels. Very important that this shoreline A is connected anytime it's parked. Again, it goes back to the battery charger and making sure your batteries stay maintained. Um, each shoreline separately operates one of the rooftop air conditioners. There's two rooftop air conditioners. So shoreline A operates one rooftop air conditioner. Shoreline B operates the other rooftop air conditioner. And so this is the second power source for your 120 volt system. There's three onboard power sources being the inverters, the shorelines, and then the onboard generator. So with that being said, uh, if you look at the diagrams, there's further explanation in those diagrams.